welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Friday, which means it is time for another Nas Watch You Zombie Lane Saga. Oh, boy. So, in the last episode of Zombie Lane Saga, we saw we saw Yugiri's whole thing and how she wound up getting fucking decapitated. So that's great. Um, no idea what happened to to what's his face. Masbury got hunted down and murdered by the military police, but hey, neither here nor there. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. But um, on this episode, uh, judging from the the next time on Dragon Ball Z, uh, we're going to wind up getting the actual conclusion to the reporter arc. So can't wait for that. <laughs> But let's get in here and let's see what happens, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Now oh, going all the way back to the first season with this. Okay then. I mean, I mean, I think Asaki was the one that did the uh, the bumper on the last one. I assume that she's gonna be. This is gonna be her episode, but. But how could they be dead, though? Mm. So this is what, like episode 10? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, so we've got like, what, like two more episodes, three more episodes? Hmm. The saga of how these zombies will get their event. I just realized that that's what that's... I I just actually looked at that. God damn, it's been ten episodes. I didn't notice. God, Japanese is just word salad sometimes, huh? So the the uh, preview thing on the on the previous episode um, showed Kotaro and the reporter guy meeting at like a horse track or something so i'm i'm wondering why one why, why would he approach kodoro like this i mean i guess i guess if kodoro is on the listing for like who owns that big house they live in i guess that would make sense right track his down his ass down first but hmm hmm unless the big twist is that it's an anti-conflict because it turns out that Kodoro was the one that hired them to make sure the girls don't fuck up. Which would be the exact sort of gaslighting bullshit he'd pull. God damn it. Lily has a brand and she's sticking to it. They're going to roll that up and they're gonna roll that concert up into a blunt and smoke it all they want. Wait, did I download the wrong episode? What the fuck? <laughs> What's with all these flashbacks? We don't- we- we know what happened, asshole! I 
I mean, Iron Frill was also like an in like a massive national idol group that started in fucking Tokyo. So, you know, like that's the big difference. Wow, so this whole thing was just Kotaro's fault, huh? Believing in all of their legendary reputations, despite the fact that literally their legend... Like, legend... Like, legend status is based off of, you know, Groundswell, which they don't fucking have because, you know, they're dead. His reason is that he's a fucking retard. And this almost caused the group to just absolutely break up. Oh boy. I mean, your performance doesn't matter because you gotta get butts in seats ahead of time, motherfucker. Like, these girls are coming at this backwards. <laughs> no, she's going in raw. I mean, she could die twice, you know, she just has to get, you know, absolutely destroyed. Destroy the brain. Oh yeah, Saki's the leader. That's weird. You would think that... You would think that, like, number one would be the leader, or number zero, but then again... What is an idol group if not just a biker gang that sings, let's be honest? Maybe if you listened to her, you wouldn't have destroyed the group, Kotaro, you fucking dumbass. What?! That's the... That is the dumbest idea. Holy shit. So not only did he set them an impossible task, but he gave them as many fucking handicaps as possible. Oh my god. God, that's just embarrassing. Yeah, even the crowd's embarrassed. They're like, oh god, oh fuck, why did I come? 
If anything, I imagine it's probably cost them a big chunk of their fan base. Ooh. Ooh. That's a that's a big oofum right there. God, even Romero is like, mm, I don't know about this one, Chief. And then he was not sober again until the next year. Well, technically only Kodoro's in debt. They can't exactly be claimed by the tax man because they're dead. Do we really need the flashback episode? Like, like, I know, like, this is all new and, like, new, like, footage and everything, but, like, this is all stuff that's already been addressed and talked about. Like, we don't need to see it. Honestly, it feels like they're just kind of stalling for time, but in the most inefficient way, Paul. I'd rather a clip show. Holy shit. The correct answer is to bail on Kodoro and fucking leave. She's... She's trying her best. The legendary Tei Yamada. I mean, how much help did he really give? Like, that's the question. I- I kind of hate how they're... I- I- mm. I kind of hate how they're taking all of the blame on themselves when it's literally fucking Kotaro's fault. I don't know about that one. I kind of wish they'd kept the stage for when I died, so it's just you just see the scorch mark. It's just there forever. My man just wanted some squid jerky. Made his own.
Amazing that they... Amazing that they live in a universe where the coronavirus never happened, huh? Quarantine? What's that? Oh, damn. Well, that's a, that's a change. We've just got out of the hole, so it's time to climb right the fuck back in! So wait, so... So why are they- why, why are they selling Romero merch? How do pe how do the people know about Romero? And they'll spin it. So it's like, ah, yes, the failed concert in 2019. It was on purpose. Publicity stunt. Damn, he had to bring the wind machine in? Shit, all right. Damn, I can't believe Kotaro is gonna die of the Rona before the concert even happens. Can't believe it. All right, when's he gonna when's he gonna make the threat? When's he going to make the implied threat? Because she predates your bullshit, you fool! I mean, how much profit is he really making? I mean, come on now, they What else are the what else are the dead gonna do? Like just laying lazing around in their graves, not saving saga? What What the fuck? I mean, he did grab some of the most legendary fucking entertainers.
Alright, so it is Grandpa. Alright, fair enough. Amazing how Grandpa just kind of adopts the, the, the exact same guy again and again and again. I mean, hey. What? Wait, they were killed by the curse? I'm sorry, what? So the curse calls Lily to get her first facial hair. The cur- I mean, I guess the curse causing the lightning that struck I. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Man, that's like a big stretch for a curse. Holy shit. I mean, Saki went off the cliff because she's an idiot, so... It'd be funny if no one believed him. Like, he posts this fucking article and everyone's just like, Yeah, no one believes you, idiot. <laughs> but... Did their mansion just go underground? Did their mansion just get swallowed by a sinkhole? What the fuck? I mean, it's not like they can drown, but... Oh god, they're gonna be stinky. <laughs> like, they're gonna need to spend some time in the drying rack, you know what I'm saying? Poor oh boy. Fucking grandpa's just grandpa feels like the the fate of saga. Oh boy! All right. Um. Not gonna lie, I'm a giant fan of this episode, honestly. Like, I feel like if they wanted to, like, no, you know, no, I don't think there is a way to salvage this. This episode is, like, it's all information that we already had and information that was relatively fresh in our minds, just told from different angles. Like, it feels like an episode where it's like, hey, yeah, you want to just jump into season two, like, at the final arc? Here you go. Here's a recap episode to basically tell you what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so like, <sighs> like the only really good part of this is at the very end where like, you know, you've got like the, the reporter guy being like, hey, yo, I'm going to expose y'all. And Kodor's like, no, fuck you. Like, Evan and everything after that is basically just a lead into the next episode. Like, you know, like grandpa basically revealing that he is grandpa fucking... The, 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 the mention of a curse and the fact that the curse is the reason that all these girls died. Like, like, <sighs> I feel like it could have been a lot better, like, integrated into the story and, like, we didn't really need, like, the majority of this episode. Like, fuck, my nose itches. Ah. Okay. Um, Oh, Sorry, like you ever just get like an itch, like, like right here in like the 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 
Septum, is that what it's called? Like... Ugh. Um, okay, so... Yeah, like, so, so um, honestly, I think this is, like, the first episode that I didn't really like, and it's mostly just because it's information that we already had. It's just being given to us in different format, and that's not really all that interesting. If anything, that's actually kind of lame. Um, it's not all that interesting to look at. It's not really all that interesting to think about, and honestly, it feels like it just kind of was trying to just waste our time. Um... Yeah, I really don't have all that much to talk about. Like, it's just... All the girls just putting, like, blind faith in, in, in Kotaro. We've already established, like, in, like, episode one, that that's something that they realized was a bad idea. Um... Like... Yeah, like, I'm basically just gonna be retreading, like, all the old ground I've gone through all of, through the season. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, it's just an encapsulation. Like, I mean, seeing them go from, like, being like, yeah, we can do it if we believe in you, I yes to, man, fuck Kotaro. Fuck Batman. Like, yeah, that's cool, but we already saw that. <laughs> Come on now, like, uh, um, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I mean, there was like a, like the bit with like, he's our boy, turn, our boy becomes the mysterious squid man. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. But that's just a continuation of Kodoro's dumbass adventures around Saga that get the attention of the magazines. Like we've seen that before. Like it's a nice callback, but it's not really all that interesting. Um, The reporter, honestly, the fact that he's actually stepping up his game to be the antagonist, okay, yeah, that's fun. And the fact that he uh, didn't, he didn't save his article in time, that's kind of funny. But beyond that, yeah, there's not really much all here. Like, honestly, this episode's kind of a wash. I, it's shit. There you go. It's shit. It's shit. And you could have entirely, basically entirely skipped it and nothing would have changed. Like, I was really excited for this episode because it looked like from the preview of the previous episode that it was going to be like a big ramp up, but I guess not. But, that's how it do, I guess. But, yeah, no, fuck, that's all I got to say. Episode shit. Show good, episode shit. I hate that I have to say that, but I guess... Every season of Zombieland Saga so far has to have that, huh? Because the previous season had the same thing. An episode that was really, really shit. Despite the fact that the season overall was pretty good, as far as I remember. But, but yeah. Let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think that this was done really, really well. I disagree, but hey, you know, make your case. Um, and let me know down there in the comments. Oh, boy. Uh, as always, I am Nozvix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit the share button down below. If you want more from me, you can always, um, I mean, if you want more from me, I do post every single day at around noon, unless, you know, unforeseen consequences happen. Um, and, uh, I also live stream every single day. Um, usually between, like, 6 and 8 is, is when I start, and I go for, like, 2 to 3 hours after that. I'm starting, to th I'm starting to think I might want to aim for 7. You know, aim for 7 o'clock to start streaming. But, I don't know. Keep an eye on my channel page. Hit the bell. And uh, when I post a stream, you'll know about it. Mm. And, it's, and those are fun. And I like hanging out with the people. Uh, other than that, you can also support me on Patreon if you really want to. Uh, that's linked down there in the description and on the end card. Along with all people keep the show up and running. Thank you guys a whole bunch. I love you! And yeah, that's all I got to talk about. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But most of all, become a trash mammal today. And I'll see you a rune